I wanted to cuss him out. I wanted to cuss him out. It was on me. It was in me. I know what's in me. Not the type to go off though, but right there in that moment, everything that was not of God was... you guys welcome back to my channel i'm sorry i'm in the dark but i said i'm gonna share this so i ain't gonna come back with no story time gotta set up and all that no y'all get this in real time y'all y'all listen before i get started don't forget to subscribe hit the red subscribe button it's red like my jacket it says subscribe subscribe to the red to the red word that says subscribe subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit like and please don't forget to share the video but listen okay we got that we got all the preliminaries out the way let me get on to the story this literally just happened and i'm still hot so listen i'm in this particular store right i had two separate transactions i go to self-checkout so while i'm at self-checkout there's an employee behind me because there's another register and another self-checkout register he is I don't know if he was on break or whatever. He was like, I don't know, getting a snack, maybe a drink or pack of chips or something. I don't know. But I knew he was watching me. And I was like, okay, you're watching me. I know you're watching me. So he's watching me. I know he's watching me. He goes now he's not even working self-checkout y'all he's not even working self-checkout there's a young girl working self-checkout and with the first transaction the car i had to keep swiping it i had to keep swiping it the young girl never even came to me to uh ask if i needed help like she was i don't know she was more like in a daze or whatever but she i, I and i didn't need any need any help um it was more so the car anyway he sees that I have other things on the back of the car or whatever only had two items he sees that I have other stuff and he's like he is he is on me like a hawk like he on me and I'm like okay Tilt you know he work here and I'm not lying y'all the things that were brewing on my tongue the things that was brewing in my heart I was I was so hot in that store in this cold I could feel the heat rising from my back I was so hot cuz I'm thinking the whole time the ones you need to be watching you're not watching them you watching me but you need to be watching the other ones and I'm like okay till if you say anything what is it gonna solve like this is the whole time in my head what is it gonna solve tip what is it gonna solve so he stood there beside the other young lady and he was acting as if he was having conversation with her but she won't really pay him no attention so he was standing there he kept standing there and then he saw me pull out another debit card and he walked away y'all yeah, I'm a Christian, all that kind of stuff. I love God, but at the end of the day, I'm human. I wanted to cuss him out. I wanted to cuss him out. It was on me. It was in me. I know what's in me. I know the, I'm not the type to go off, though. But right there in that moment, everything that was not of God was on, was, was literally, it was getting ready to go full force. And I'm not even that type of person. But I'm like, you watching me? And I don't even steal. It's not a look at the end of the day. You cannot look at a person. Like, you cannot go by looks. You cannot go by 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 what you see. You don't, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that was the revelation that I got. Because I guess I look like I steal. But I didn't say nothing. He going off wasn't going to solve anything. I probably was going to probably get dismissed from the store or asked to leave or something. But the, what was in me, I wanted to, sh to go off. But it wasn't worth it. It wasn't. Me showing my tail, acting a fool, wasn't going to be worth it. And I didn't. And I'm glad that I didn't. Now, am I still kind of hot about it? Yes, <laughs> I am. Because he was watching me. I was like, it's stealing a look. Because stealing is not a look. It's not an ethnicity. It's not a size. And I guess because I got this thick coat on and I have my keys and 
my phone in my pocket i don't know maybe i look like i had some up under this thick this thick jacket but i was so mad y'all but it also taught me too every battle is not yours to fight oh my god every battle is not yours to fight yes it's gonna feel good to to flip out show your tail act a fool it's gonna feel good but what are you gonna solve what are you solving at the end of the day by telling somebody off what are you solving at, at the end of the day by showing your tail what are you solving at the end of the day every battle is not yours to fight babe everything is not yours even god said vengeance is mine so I, I i was like i was i was so i left out of there so heated so just like bro you you stood over here and you watched me and i know why you was watching me but it's over i got what i needed but just know at the end of the day every battle is not yours to fight stop trying to fight every single battle stop it it's not yours don't you realize every time you put your hands in it your fleshly hands in it it doesn't work out every time take it to the lord take it to whoever you believe in but it's not yours to fight because it what was in me at that moment was to show my behind in the store i wanted to cuss him out y'all i knew i know who i am i'm not i don't steal i do not steal i've never stole nothing a day in my life it's not about a look and every battle that two things i got out of this it's not about a look it's not about a look and every battle is not yours every battle is not yours to fight stop trying to fight everything stop trying to put your hands in everything because it's not yours to fight now i, I feel fine now telling y'all about it i feel cool like i'm good about it now some people probably would be like i would have did this i would have did that okay it's easy for you to say what you would have done when you walking in the flesh and carl what is you doing baby you can't drive worth nothing what is you doing you can't ride both lanes baby Christ Jesus, he's riding both lanes about to cause an accident. My God, today. All right, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I feel better about it now. I told y'all about it. I told y'all about it, and y'all was a listening ear, and I thank you because what was in, what was sitting on my chest, what was sitting on my chest while I was in that stove was not of God. It was not of God at all. It was not of God. I wanted to show my tail, but I didn't. So I am proud of myself. I am so proud of me. I did not show my tail in that stove. But I had the potential to show my tail in that stove. And I didn't. So I know I'm a Christian at the end of the day. Am I perfect? No. Do I have it all together? No. I don't. But it's stuff like this. It's tests like this that show you that every battle is not yours to fight. Now, if it happened again, you can still put people in their place without going off, but it just let me know what's in me. Like, I could have put him in his place, but not, like, showing my tail, you know? But see, I, I, I wasn't in a calm state at the moment because I know you standing over there with your arms folded watching me. You watching me. You watching me. Why you watching me? The ones you need to be watching, they walking out the stove, shorty. That's all I wanted to share with y'all, sweet babies. It has been a wonderful time talking with you and getting it off my chest. Because, honey, I need to probably need to. I'm going to wash this jacket because the sweat that was on my back, brewing, brewing during that moment was ridiculous. So, yeah. But, okay. All right, y'all. I will see you guys next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little I guess meet my little sharing moment but um y'all have a good one and i will see you guys next video